Hi, my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my Makeup Monday for Monday the 18th of September. Now this is pre-recorded as usual but this is pre-pre-recorded <laughs> um, because I've been away for a few weeks when this goes live. Um, and I'm currently, on the 18th of September, I will be on Mykonos, one of the Greek islands. So that's exciting. Still can't believe it's going to happen. So, I'm going to do a fun fold card today. It's called a Gate Pop-Up Fun Fold. I saw it over on a Stamping Up Demonstrators YouTube channel, um, Dawn Griffiths. I think she's called The Glitter Pit. Um... And I really liked it, so I made one using the Little Dreamers bundle, and then I made one using the very cute um, stamp set and crunch and paper from the new mini catalog. Now, when this goes live, the mini catalog will also be live, so I can actually show you the inside of the catalog because it'll be okay by then. <laughs> so let's switch down to the craft desk. Okay. So this is the card we're going to create today and it's called a gatefold pop-up card. Isn't it cute? I love it in this bundle. It's so cute. So it can stand like so and this little dreamers bun bundle is so gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And so I did it again using the very cute suite of products from the mini catalogue. So this is the one with the polar bear. That's so cute. <laughs> Sorry. I love it. So this is the suite that we're going to play with today. The very, the very Christmas suite on page 22 and 23 in the mini catalog, catalog, the holiday mini catalog. So it's a stamp set and punch bundle. There is an embossing folder with like snowflakes falling as well. There are some, I've got these over here somewhere. Where are they? Glitter sequins. Is that them? Yep. Glitter sequins. Really cute. Some gorgeous ribbon. Um, that's a bit, it's sparkle ribbon, but it's um, sort of suede. It's really beautiful. Gorgeous ribbon. So, it's the ribbon in the bundle. There are um, a Memories and More pack, card pack and envelopes. I haven't got those, but if you want quick and easy Christmas cards, these are a must have. And then there's the Berry Christmas 12 by 12 um, designer series paper. It's a really cute little set. So this is it here with the, the stamp sets bigger, you can see. And the punch cuts out this polar bear but it also cuts out polar bears on the paper as well so there's polar bears in here on the paper that you can punch out as well so that's what we're playing with today um, so that's the paper so you can see you can see this is this is the one it punches out and this one Oh no, not that one, this one. So you can see I've been hacking into that paper. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I'll put our bling. We might put a bit of bling on actually. Um, so let's bring in our product. So if you want to order online with me, um, go to my blog. And over in the right hand side, there'll be a shop with a host code for september you can click on that and it takes you straight to my online store or you can click on the um stamping up logo that also takes you straight to my online store and ordering online is super easy you just have to set yourself up as a customer which will need your email address and then you put in a password so whatever password you want to use um and that sets you up as a customer and you can shop with me so Looks like there's a lot here, but it's not as overwhelming as it looks. So let's go through what we need. We've got a normal A5 card base. Now I did convert this into metric 
<clears throat> from Dawn Griffith's video because I didn't want to do inches because we don't do inches um, imperial measurements in Australia. So it's a normal A5 card base and it's scored at 5.2 centimetres on each end. So that's going to form the gate. You've got two pieces of designer series paper, 4.7 centimetres by 14.4 centimetres. You've got one piece for the inside of your card, like so here, and that's just your normal insert, 10 centimetres by 14.4 or 14.3. You've got for the front panel here, you've got a piece 6.4 centimetres by 9.5 centimetres, and then the white is 5.8 centimetres by 8.9. Then you've got a couple of the stylish shaped dies. Now I know they're old or live, I've done that just for a bit of a difference. Um, once again, I'm using the stylish shaped dies, they're just the best dies ever. And I've used, um, I think I've used the third largest, no, the second largest, yeah, second largest and third largest square die, stitch square die. Um, and then you've got this piece that's 5 centimetres by 13.3. Now it's scored at 2.5 centimetres, 5.1, and then 10.8. And we're going to cut it in half at 2.5. So let's do that now. It's just easier to do it all in one go with the scoring and then just cut it in half. So this is 5 centimetres. So we're going to just cut it in half at 2.5 centimetres except that moved. So let's try and not let it move. There we go. Okay, so now we've got two pieces scored in the correct places and they're going to become a mechanism down inside for these two pop-up pieces. Okay, so we've got that. That's two stylish shaped dies or four stylish shaped dies um, squares. So if you need to get those measurements again, just backtrack through the um, video and get them. Um, or oh, there's a screenshot if you want to be quick and take a screenshot. <laughs> okay. So we'll put our mechanisms aside. We'll put our bits for the card front aside. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get our bone folder and we're going to fold over our 5.25 centimetre score line on either end and they should just about meet. If not, you can tweak a little bit and bring it in a bit further so that the gate closes for the gate fold. That's why it's called a gate fold. You're closing the gate okay <clears throat> so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our designer series paper and put them on the front two panels now I could go this way but I didn't like the way that and I had to match them up for this card because when I, I cut a strip of my designer series paper and cut two pieces they didn't match up I did have to do that twice but I thought the presents looked nice and it gave it a bit more of a splash of colour. So I thought I'd use the gift, gifts, the presents on this side. So <clears throat> let me get my glue out. And of course that's sticking to my, my um, silicon sheet. I'm just going to put it down on here with an even border all the way around. Just making sure my head's not coming in. So our card base is Mossy Meadow. And that's one of the colours in the paper. And glue spurtage. <coughs> and also one of the colours in the paper is Old Olive. And that's why I went with the Old Olive stylish shape square dies because I thought it just gave it a bit of a bit of a variation okay there's no right or wrong 
way because presents maybe there is actually when I look at that let's just take that off and put it this way around yeah that does look like there's a right and wrong that these presents all have to go the right way up gracious I nearly made a booby there blue spurtage okay so that's that done um, now the next thing we're going to do is pop our insert in and I'm just going to put glue around the edges okay <coughs> then we'll do a little bit of stamping I think so just pop that inside your card I'll move that over there and put the lid back on our glue <clears throat> so we've got our two I'm just thinking what's the next best thing to do yes I think the stamping is next I think that will be good so I've done mossy meadow for the front because I thought I don't want to do contrasting on the front this one I did the red inside and that's why I thought I'd do the old rollies inside so and then there are uh, mechanisms so let's stamp I'm gonna do a different bear I'm gonna do this sitting down little fellow and this little piece of scrap is just perfect for that one so let me grab my block And then I'll need another block for my little tiny fellows that are wandering along. And I need my, oops, I need my black memento ink. And I shall need my piercing mat. So let's just move this up because I'm going to fussy cut him out. Because I'm choosing to use a bear that's not in the punch. Like the punch doesn't cut out. But that's okay. Because there's all sorts of polar bears we can use in this set. So that's that one. And now let me get these two in. These, he's just such a cheeky little character. I do like him. him there and ink him up again make sure he's got ink on his paws and put him there he's not scented but that doesn't matter he's still wandering along so I think that's all I need that for and I shall clean them off And just make sure we're still recording. I always have this fear that I'm going to knock my mouse or something and <clears throat> I'll get to the very end and I'll find out I haven't recorded everything and I'll go, oh no. <laughs> okay, so we'll put them to one side. This one needs, I feel, a scarf. And this little scarf goes around his neck beautifully. So what colour shall we do? <clears throat> I did a red scarf here to tie in. I might do a night of navy. Oh, I could do that blue. I wonder what that blue is. Let's have a look. Balmy blue. Balmy blue. Let's do a balmy blue scarf on him this time around. So I'm just going to ink that up. <clears throat> and I am going to just practice it there. Oh no, that's that's all right. So I'm going to bring him down a little bit. So this scarf fits on the walking along polar bear and on the sitting down. Now I'll try not to bring my head in, but sometimes I can't help myself. There we go. So the scarf works on both of them. Uh, 
Okay, so let's clean that off and then we can put him to one side and we'll bring in our other front panel piece and we might stamp the tree, the outline of the tree in mossy meadow. So we're going to stamp that. I plan on having him sitting over in this corner in front of the tree. This one was walking along. Oh, that's the neighbour's doggy. Rosie's in here on her little bed. Trying to ignore the fact that we're going to be leaving her in a, in a few days time. But by the time this goes live, we'll be nearly back. <laughs> Okay, that was Mossy Meadow, and now I'm going to get Old Olive to do the fill-in of the tree. I think I used this sweep for one of my earlier videos whilst I'm away. I think I did it, oh yes, the card and the cuppa, I've used this one. So, I'm getting a few little shots at it. Okay, so this is the... um inside of the tree and I have just spread that ink with my Winkostella pen so that's how I did that so let's now we'll bring this right down so that I'll try not to bring my head in but it does it does happen just want to good, get good coverage with my old olive ink and <coughs> Okay. Oh look! Damn! Okay, turn it over. <laughs> Do it again. <coughs> and you know what? I think I'm going to use Mossy Meadow for both. Okay, let's try that one more time. <coughs> you can see what I've done. I've got a smudge up here and I don't like that. So, let's try that. Again, because I, <clears throat> I don't believe I've got to have a drink of water, a sip of water. <clears throat> I don't believe a snowflake would cover that, and that's also a bit blotchy. So I'm not completely happy with it. So that's why we're doing it again. So I apologise if this video goes a little bit longer than half an hour. I try to contain them to around 30 minutes, but sometimes they just don't seem to work to that time frame for me. Okay, so I don't want to <clears throat> close that up. I shall get that. Pull the, the outline of the tree off. Put the body of the tree on. down and see if I can line that up it's not really lining it up because it's all sort of it's not like perfect do you know what I mean like it's gappy it's gappy <laughs> okay so that's that we might put a few snowflakes around So we'll need our balmy blue again and I use the smallest snowflake so we'll just get balmy blue down sometimes when they're a fun fold they also do go a bit longer the videos so I do apologize Okay. <clears throat> okay, so 
let's get our little paper snips and cut this fellow out and then we can see if we need to put a present somewhere so I'm just going to fussy cut around him as carefully as I can just to make it a bit different to my last card so I am not the best fussy cutter but I managed to get away with it some people are really, really good at fussy cutting. Not me. <laughs> I manage to pass most of the time. So I tend not to like doing it on videos, but anyway. So I'm going to put him there. So I am going to put a gift down in the bottom <clears throat> and I think I will make it a real red gift this time it's kind of a scene building set isn't it kind of it's really cute now, before we go any further I'm going to get my Winker Stella onto my Christmas tree Okay, just make sure that there's some coming out of it, yep, and it drags some of the ink to colour in the rest of the tree, so it's sort of a bit like an aqua painter, it's sort of dragging just a little bit of the ink, as well as leaving a sparkle which is nice and you know you don't have to be too fussy it's just a bit of fun that's why I like card making there's no right or wrong it's just a bit of fun okay I think that's our tree I'll put a little bit over here that's a pretty Christmas tree with a bit of sparkle yep don't need any more sparkle <coughs> now i'll get rid of that and i'm gonna get my little bone folder just to flatten down my edges okay let's <coughs> let's attach this to this and then we can put our bear on and we can get that sorted. Oh, I've got to do a bit more on the bear. I'll attach this first. He's got to have a little bit of shading on him. I've got my smoky slate blend out to do that. And I mean, you could dauber around the edge of this white if you wanted to. But, you know, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so let's get a little bit of smoky slate and put a little bit of a shadow this is light smoky slate pretty sure yep i'm just going to put a little bit of a shadow there and then i'll do use the color lifter i'm also going to put a little bit here and here and down here I don't think he needs any more. That's the other beautiful thing about this stamp set. It doesn't need a lot of colouring because polar bears are white. <laughs> so I'm just going to get my colour lifter and just lift that off so it's just sort of like a shadow. Now there's a siren outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Honestly. It's all happening. Okay. Okay. That looks pretty cute. I think he looks pretty happy with himself. Okay, so let's get some dimensionals. Because that back didn't come off. <clears throat> some weekends we can have so many things going on outside. And other weekends it's very quiet. <laughs> I do think that whenever I do a video, it's always something going on 
Okay, let's put him up on. There he is. Isn't he cute? <laughs> he's so cute. Love him. Okay, that's that. Let's bring our other little fellows in. And we shall do the same with their little bottoms and paws with a smoky slate. And like stamping up always sort of show you where they want a little bit of highlight with their dots and stuff. And the rest you just sort of make up. Make up as you go. Okay, we'll do them both the same. They're just really cute. And this one does it all. There we go. <coughs> Get a colour lifter. Just looks like they've been sitting in the snow and they've got a little bit dirty on their bottoms. There we go. Oh, that wasn't the dot. He's so cute. Now I put I got the ground from the trucking along bundle and did the ground. So I just grabbed that. I forgot I did that. Oh, we're nearly up to 26 minutes and it's not even finished. Because you don't need grass. You don't need grass for these guys. Okay. So I am going to do the whole thing. Like this one I sort of stopped and I was a bit cross with that. But I'm going to use the whole thing. And put that sort of underneath his feet. Just so he's, he's trotting along, he's bouncing along. <laughs> so cute, I love them. That was Smoky Slate Ink Pad. Okay, so we don't need those again. So let's put them onto our little old olive squares. There we go. Because we need these complete so we can do our mechanism. Now my husband's out there blowing, blower backing. <laughs> He's getting the garden all sorted before we go away. So I hope that's not becoming a problem with the noise out there. Okay, so let's... We'll put him on last. Okay, now the other thing we've got to do is work out where we want those and we shall get mossy meadow down again because we have to do our sentiment before we put them on with the mechanism so the trucking along bundle I'll use the Merry Christmas again because that fits quite perfectly where we want it. <laughs> Honestly, a noisy motorbike now. I can't win. <laughs> okay, so I'm just mashed, inking up my Merry Christmas in the um, mossy meadow and I'm just going to put it straight in the middle. Like so. <laughs> oh, dear me. mechanisms working. Here they are. I'm just getting all my blocks, sorting my blocks out. Okay, so I'm just going to fold it on the score lines. And I just, because you need one going one way and one going the other way. So I just want to double figure out this. Okay, so we want this one going like so 
and we want this one going like so. Okay, so we're going to put our squares on our squares on that bigger panel, that, that scored section. Okay, so I am going to put glue on there. And I'm going to get my little polar bear and just center him using the grid paper. I'm going to center him on, on that panel. So I've got two and a half and roughly two and a half squares. Okay. Oops, that's moved. Let's just move it back. Okay, so then that's going to go there. Let's do this one once again on the large panel scored bit, scored section. And I'm going to bring it down so I don't bring my head in. And I'm just going to place Polar Bear with the same distance, top and bottom, or thereabouts. doesn't have to be perfect. So we'll just give that a minute to adhere. <coughs> And then that's going to go there. So we've got to make sure they're not down too low. Let's poke out the bottom of the card. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to just want to think about it. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on this one. And I'm going to hold that and line it up to the score line and put that there. Just make sure. Yep, that's right. Oh, we don't want to do that. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Stay put and straight. And the same with this one. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this tab. And make sure lines it up, line it up with the score line. Yeah, so that's right. So we'll just adhere those and make sure they stick. And then I've got to remember. Okay, right, I remember now. <laughs> so on this little square here, put some glue on that. And fold that back in. It's alright. Yes, fold it all the way back in like so. Yes, that's right. <laughs> hard when you forget what you've done <laughs> there we go see that's worked okay so same again put some glue on this one and then fold that back over with the gate and push down with a bit of gum there on oh, my paper get off okay in there get off okay so they're your mechanisms aren't they cute <laughs> don't need glue anymore okay so so you open it up and there's your little polar bit sorry I'll bring it down Open it up and there's little polar bears trotting along. Aren't they cute? Okay, so now we've just got to put this fellow on the front. So what we do is we eyeball it and I just put some dimensionals down this side, which turns out to be the right-hand side. 
um, where are the dimensionals? Here they are. So the right hand side, I'm just going to put four down here. Like so. Take the backs off these ones. And then I just eyeball it and center it like any normal gatefold card. Make sure I've got a similar distance to the here. And top and bottom and press down with your dimensionals and then open them up oh, sorry I went up high again Ta -da! <laughs> uh, aren't they just the cutest it's just so cute <laughs> I love it okay so these are the adhesive backed glitter sequins and you've got small and large and they're blue white and old olive um should we put one on top of the tree i'm not sure um and i'm not sure if i want that green one there I think I've lost his backing. Ouch! Lost his backing. I think I want the white ones. Yeah, I think the white ones are nice on this card. One of here. I'm going to go back <laughs> and put some blue ones over this one. On this one. I didn't put any on this one. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that is a gatefold pop-up pop card. How cool is it? Isn't it just a gorgeous thing? It's so cute. I love it. And then it opens up and they've got your two little polar bears trotting along. And it stands like so for Christmas. If you wanted to, you could put a Christmas sentiment on the front. This stamp set has warm wishes, which would fit. But I didn't want to use that because we don't have a warm Christmas. Well, we do. We have a warm Christmas. <laughs> but we don't really say warm wishes. <laughs> um, so, it's too cute. This is my other one. And then this was my one with the Little Dreamers stamp set. So, I hope you enjoyed those. So let's just see if we can come back to the front, the base. So I hope you enjoyed that gatefold pop-up card. Whoops, which way am I going? <laughs> um, really cute, really cute card. And not that complicated to do so thanks for watching everybody and I will see you let me look at my my um, calendar I will see you on Friday the 22nd of September for card and a cuppa thanks for watching everyone bye for now